Oh. oh my goodness, Kimber, I'm sorry. Thank you. Did you just keep tension on them? Oh man. Holy cow. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris. This is Kim. I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh it is really cold out here today. But it looks like we have some favorable offshore weather or as far as like wind and waves go uh which is pretty rare for this time of year so we are trying to make a surgical tactical uh strike on some snapper today uh that's the goal we're just going to try to get in get some snapper and get out so if you want to stick around and see how that works out stay tuned A lot sloppier than they said it was going to be a little rough ride out but we made it out here hopefully we won't have to move we can hopefully this will be a one-stop shop hopefully we'll find some lanes and some mangroves or something put a few in a box and then head on back all right now all we got is uh, some shrimp today got a couple dozen yeah, what's that all shredded down there uh, and we just got a little three aught inline circle hook about 20 25 pound leader to a a swivel and a little two ounce weight a little simple fish finder rig she's got her irt reel set up i got basically the same rig set up and i just got a medium heavy uh ugly stick intercoastal seven foot and my pin battle 4000 got about 30 pound braid on here and we're about 75 feet of water kim's got something little but she's got something already i haven't even made it to the bottom yet and she's already pulling up fish and it is a grunt oh man oh please don't be that kind of day uh oh i got a fish yep yep he's nice uh i don't think i need a net but he, he might be a dinner fish over there bouncing and uh Oh man, dang it, whammy. Uh, these are not the snapper we're looking for. Freaking red snapper. Hopefully some lanes are around. All right, another, another nice one. Oh man, I think it might be another red. These are nice fish. Man, if we keep pulling up reds, I'm gonna I'm not gonna waste too much more time here. We're gonna move. Yep, another red snapper. Yep. Oh. One more red snapper and we're we're gonna get out of here. Oh uh, We'll see, we'll see, but I think it's another, might be another way. No, I don't know. May not be a whammy. And it is. Ah, freaking kidding me. All right, I just dropped us right on a bunch of red snapper. All right. All right, well, we found the snapper, just not the snapper we're looking for. So we're going to go to the next spot. I'm not messing around with reds. Can't take them home. We're not looking for fun fighting fish. We're just looking for some fish we can put in the box. So moving on to the next spot. We're gonna try this new spot. Hopefully there'll be some lanes and mangroves or something down here. So we're putting the box. Uh, always use your bottom machine. X does not mark the spot. So let's check it out. Nice jumbo shrimp there. See what you can haul up. All right, dropping down. It's already hooked up. 
What do you got, babies? Something decent? Come on, Kimber. And, oh, are you kidding me? Freaking red. Ugh. These are not the snappers we're looking for. I don't think you're gonna need a net for that one. Hopefully, it is some dinner. Yep, Lane. Sweet. Yep. We'll put them in the box. Good job, baby. Ow. All right, one down. We haven't really put a limit on ourselves how many we want to get today, but when we feel we've had enough, <laughs> we'll call it. All right, I'm hooked up. And it's feeling snapper. Feeling like a snapper. This hopefully it's the right color or not the wrong color. And oh, yep. Uh, man, I got some bad juju today. Man, I'm usually pretty good about staying away from these things. Kim's got a nice one. Again, whoo. Good job, baby. Gonna need a net. I'll grab it just in case. Hopefully it is a nice big lane. Or maybe mangrove, uh, no, freaking red. Ah, man, these guys are being a menace today. Ah. We'll see, we'll see, but I think I might just get upset here at this one. Oh, yep. Dang it! Man! Of course, you try to make some plans, and there's always something there to ruin it. And today, it's the Atlantic Red Snapper. You hooked up? All right. Come on. What do you got, babies? Oh, freaking red, man, where did they? Like, and I hardly ever catch this many reds here, here at the spot. Maybe we'll just move a little bit around, scooch a little bit around, but good grief. This is insane. I haven't caught this many red snapper in a trip in a while. All right, I, I moved over just a little bit. See if that'll help. Kim's gonna drop down. Sometimes, uh, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot. You don't have to move too far. Kim's already hooked up. First drop of the new spot. What do you got, baby? Come on, Lane. Come on, Lane. It's coming up easy now. Er, it's fighting though. Uh, ah. Man, I do not want to have to move another spot. It's too rough out here. You think you're feeling red snapperish? Uh, did we get the curse today? I sure hope not. But they are whooping our butts to yeah. They are whooping our butts today. Ow. Yeah, I was hoping it wasn't pulling super hard, so I was hoping maybe it'd be a smaller, like a lane snapper or something, but just a small red. It's gonna keep cutting me up. Alright, we're dropping down again. Got a nice one. Cam is hooked up. And we probably know what that is, don't we? <laughs> oh man. Oh, it looks like he gave, gave up. What do we got here? And uh, oh, no. oh, that's a nice lane. That's a nice lane. Good job, baby. That's what we came out here for. Woo, finally. And that was probably, I don't know, what, 16 inch maybe, 15? Yep. 16 inch lane. Good job, man, finally. Oh, we thought we were, the red snapper were gonna win over today, but good. Oh, I'm hooked up over here. 
I was getting Ken's lane and something got me. What do we got? And it is another, oh, red, yeah. And it was starting to, felt like a lane. All right, Sea Keeper, if you're watching this video, looking for a sponsor, I'm your guy. <laughs> Man, it's sloppy out here. All right, and we were getting a lot of them stolen, so I switched to just breaking off the tail and hook them through the tail. And that just helps with uh, them ripping it off your hook. Sometimes if you hook them through the head, they will just rip it off the hook real easy if that starts happening. That's how I do it, just rip off the tail, put it back over. So if they bite at the head, there's still that chunk of meat there. Usually someone will come back after that. And it still looks kind of natural. All right, Kim's got something over here. Oh man, hopefully it's another dinner fish. Kim only wants a couple more lanes and then she wants to call it quits because it is cold out here and uh, another red. Yeah. We got one. What do we have? Uh, I'm feeling gruntish. It's not really digging. Oh, no, oh, mangrove. Finally, not a red snapper. A little small. Oh, what does Kim got? Oh, another lane? Yeah, we can take him. Good job, baby. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Just measure him first to make sure. Well, I know he's legal, but. <laughs> Ten and a half. All right, Kim says, let him go. Got a nice one. Uh oh, this is a, this is a, this is a good fish. Uh oh, he's heading your way, Kimber. Uh oh, what do you got, a grunt? All right, I got a nice fish over here. Oh, uh, he's heading that way. Oh, uh, just lost him. Oh, uh, just lost him. Probably cut the hook. You can tell he got me into a little something there little uh, chafed up there. I'm gonna give it a good tug. Still seems like it's pretty pretty good so I'll retie and I snell all my knots on my hooks so I just go straight through the eye and you basically just tie a uni knot onto the shaft the shank excuse me of the hook just like that go around five or six times Six, maybe seven. Basically like a uni knot and cinch it down. That easy. And then tie up. Are you you got a fish over there? Oh, Kim's got a fish, and I'm trying to show you guys how to tie a knot. This is a nice one. And it's looking reddish. Oh, nope, sheep's head. Yeah, we'll keep him. Oh, oh, oh. Look up. There's no... All right, this guy is 14 inch sheep's head, so we're not gonna turn our nose up at him. It wasn't the target for today, but the lanes are going a little slower because all the red snappers, so we'll put him in the box. Good job, baby. So far, Kim's put all the fish in the box. All right, let's get some lines back down. And guys, if you're enjoying the channel, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy mess. Give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, really shows that you appreciate, uh, you know, the content that we're making it. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate you guys. So, and if you want me to take you fishing, don't forget I'm a charter captain out of Ponce Inlet. Uh, you can visit saltystrikesfishing.com. You can book your trips there. And uh, we'll see if we can't get on a few more fish. All right, dropping again. Open the bale. There you go. 
Going down. Kim is hooked up again. Good grief. Is it a good one? I think I'm hooked up. Yep, I got, I got one too. I got a nice one. Did you get off, baby? Did you lose them? I don't know. This, this may be a sheep's head too. Nope. Another red. Uh, I can't, man. I can't pull a box fish in to save my... Oh, you got another lane. Yeah, we can put it in the box. Red going back. And eat some eat some fish nuggets. Or you or what do you say? Yeah, yeah we'll keep them. Alright. They only gotta be eight inches offshore. Uh, we usually like to keep them like closer to 12. But he's probably about 11 inch. It's going a little slow. All right. I even got to the other side of the boat. Kim threw back out her little chunk she had left on her hook. And she's already hooked up again. See my line still over there. Uh oh, red. Nah. Yep. All right. All right, so we're going to drop at the same time. And so it's been busy, just not exactly what we're looking for. Caught a few of them. All right, I got one. You hooked up? Yep, doubled up, doubled up, doubled up. What do we got? What do we got? And finds us grunt. What do you got, baby? Hopefully, uh, red. Ah. Man, you know, it sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm out here with my lovely wife fishing. What more could I ask for? Even if we're not pulling the lanes in, and these red snappers have just got us pinned down. The surgical strike is, uh, Got a little haywire. Oh, Kim's got something nice. I got a grunt. All right. They need a net for this guy. What we got going on here, Kimber? Man, he's kind of went out a little ways, didn't he? He's looking kind of snapperish. See what we got. And he's coming though. And another red. Freaking reds. Whammies. That's a good size, a decent size whammy too. Another nice whammy. Going back. And uh, we're not pulling up fast enough or deep enough or like if they come up bloated, um, you should probably send them down with a descending device. Do not vent them. You're not supposed to. If you go on the WFWC website, it specifically states that you, you should, actually there's some conflicting stuff on there, but um, uh, and then the most recent memo they put out, they say you're not supposed to vent them anymore unless you're trained personnel on a head boat or charter boat. And uh, you're supposed to have a descending device on you if you're out offshore fishing and we actually have two we have one of those kind that uh when it goes down it, it, uh, it senses the pressure and automatically opens and we have the coat hanger kind where it just kind of slips on their lip weight pulls them down then you just pick up comes off their lip so if they're a little bloated and it looks like they're going to be a floater you send them down with a descending device here you go that's decent that's a decent fish And it's feeling kind of reddish. And yep, another red. And it's just way too yucky out there to keep moving spots. So otherwise I probably would go find another spot. But we'll give this a little while longer. We already got a couple of nice fish in the box. So, and a good day of fishing. 
You happy? Yeah. Kim's happy. I'm happy. So a little cold, but yeah, this is very rare for her. She never comes out in the cold and she's like, all right, I want to get offshore. So we made it. Kim just got her clock cleaned. It's going and not stopping. Oh, I got another, I got one too. I got a nice one doubled up. Kim's got a monster and I got probably a red snapper. Try to get him in quick so I can help Kim out. Or are you on bottom? Oh, I got a nice lane. I got a nice lane. He's gonna go in a box. Um, yeah, it looks like you got... Oh, right, yeah, he keeps taking line, doesn't he? Here, let me uh, get him on the other side of the boat. Probably freaking, probably got Goliath. Oh. Just keep tension on here, come find him. That's your fish. I'll just get that one out of your way. Yeah, we may not win this one, but we're gonna we're gonna give it hell trying. See it bobbing. May just be a big red snapper. Oh, lost him. Yeah, good try, baby. Good try. Not gonna win them all. And we're actually almost out of shrimp today too. I didn't buy a lot because we were not gonna spend a long time out here. And uh, you know, and we're only running 25 pound leader to the hook. So when you get a big fish like that, there's a good chance that you're not gonna win. Because all you have to do is scrape on that line just a little bit and that 25 pound leader turns into 10 pound leader real quick and you got a good sized fish on there. It's gone. So get down there and get some more. Yep, drop it. Kim's hooked up. Hopefully another dinner fish. What do we got, babies? And another sheep's head. You wanna keep this guy? He might be legal when we check or just throw him back. I know. <laughs> Look at his eyeballs. Yeah, his eyeballs are kind of bulging out. A little bear trauma there. Come on. Okay. All uh, right, we got him out. Uh, he's a little small. We'll let him go. He's got to uh, repressurize. His eyeballs are like kind of bulged out because of the pressure. They will suck right back in as he goes down. There you go, buddy. See, he goes right back down. They'll go right back into his head. All right, Kim's getting a little cold. She says. Next dinner fish, we're heading back. So hopefully one of these drops will have it. I'm getting, I got something, I got something. Yeah, it's probably a grunt. It's not really fighting. Yep. Uh, Kim, you got something? All right, Kim's got something. Maybe that'll be our go home fish. What do you got, baby? Hopefully it's not a grunt too. <laughs> and he's, he's fighting there at the last second. Oh, another sheep's head. Ah, a little small guy. Too small. All right. So one more dinner fish, but what? I have to catch it. Kim has to catch it. So if I catch a dinner fish, it doesn't count. She's got to catch the last dinner fish. I don't know, this seems, I seem feel like I got a snapper here. I don't think that's a grunt. I don't know. Sometimes these grunts. Oh, another red. You got something, baby? All right. 
Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh man. What do we got here? He's probably a nice red snapper. I don't know. Oh man. I only got 25 pound liter. Just hopefully I can wear him out. Before he, he's probably heading to structure. No oh, man, I'm not winning this one. I'll keep putting tension on him, try to get him up. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. Any more this line's gonna break. Oh, he's coming back this direction. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Lost, done lost them. Oh, you got a red snapper over there. Oh, and you're taking it off too. Hold on, let me let me get this on video. Good. Oh, almost it, baby. Almost. I got him. I'll get him for you. Ah, man, that was heartbreaker there. Yeah. Good job, babies. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Now that's it. Set up for the bigger guys. We're looking for those lane snapper. It happens. There we go, decent fish. Nope. What do you... I got him, I got him. As long as the Goliath doesn't get him. Yeah, I probably need a net for this one. It's probably red. Oh man. He's a little bit bigger. Oh, oh my goodness. Holy crap. All right, wait till you guys see this. This is insane. This is insane. All right, put, put the thing on the floor. There, there you go, I can just drag him out. Look at the size of this sheep's head. Oh my goodness. That is a monster. A 21 inch sheep's head. Oh my goodness. 21 inch sheep's head. Holy crap. Oh man. Keep them low. Don't want them flopping. That is a monster. I know I have a scale around here somewhere, but holy crap. Look how he dwarfs everything else in there. All right, Kim says she's got to get one more to go home fish, so that one doesn't count. Whew. That was insane. I cannot believe that. I thought it was a big red snapper. Hi, Thanks, baby. All right, let's get it back down. Already freezing and uh oh yeah white bone porgy man we haven't caught one of these in a while he's a little guy too though but um I don't it's not gonna get any better for me after that sheep's head so I put my pole away I'm just gonna enjoy watching her fish oh what do we got here net oh man what is this oh trigger no little trigger Coming up sideways. Sweet. Nice little trigger fish. Good job, baby. Kim's got him. Uh oh, that might be a dinner fish. He's fighting like a snapper. He's got some snapper tendencies there. Come on, Lane. Or even a sheep's head, we'll take at this point. <laughs> what do we got? That looks like a, a oh, lane. Oh, good job, Kimber. Woohoo. Yeah. Kim just wanted one more dinner fish. And we got a nice lane snapper right here. Man, it started off rough with those reds, but nice lane.
One more? All right, let's, go. let's keep going with this. All right, she's having fun, so she's going to drop down some more shrimp. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. My goodness, Kimber, I'm sorry. I think you, did you just keep tension on them. Oh man. Holy cow. Good job, baby. Good job. Just don't horse them in too much. Just keep see what we got here. See what we got. Hopefully we get him in. Remember it's only 25 pound liter. He's coming up. Yeah, got him up. The swim bladder fights against them, so you can get, kind of get them up a little bit. Helps them to give up a little. What do we got? Oh man, I think you're gonna get them in. This is probably gonna be our go home fish. What do we got here? What do you got here, Kimber? This is a big old red, big old red snapper. Big old red snapper. Look at that monster. Oh man. Big old whammy. Good job, baby. Alright, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> Kim says she's done, so. No man, this is a, a good size one. This is a like a kind of take home when it's uh, snapper season kind. Nice baby. Good job. Alright, let's get this guy back down. He's not too bloated. Want we put him back? Yeah. All right, good job, Kimber. Sweet. Yeah, that's a nice go home fish. There you go, buddy. You gonna make it? Yep, he's swimming back down. All right, another fist pound for that one. Oh, you, come here, baby. Mm, good job. Thank you. Oh, man. I'm oh. Toast? Yep. All right. All right, go. All right, guys. So. Our surgical strike wasn't so surgical, man. Uh, we had some enemy combatants there right off the bat, some red snapper that were kind of throwing us off track, but we got back on track. We got, uh, I don't know, five or six nice lanes, and man, that was a whopper sheep's head. That was a personal best for me. Um, I know Kim's caught a, like a 21 or 22 inch sheep's head before, so hers might have been a little bit bigger. I think hers was a little heavier too, I remember it. Oh man, I can't believe you just pulled that in. Holy cow, I don't think I've ever seen a sheep's head this big before. 23 inches right there. Holy crap, look at that sucker. But that's a that's a whopper. Um, but it was super cold. How'd you do, baby? <laughs> yeah. It was fun. I had a, I'm really glad I came. I didn't want to come this morning, but I'm glad I, I came out here. <laughs> it's very rare for her to come out here in these kind of conditions. She doesn't like the cold. It just gets right down to her bones. Thanks you guys for coming along with us. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. Give this video a big thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Kim got that nice little whopper at the end. Give her a uh, comment down below. Give her a little kudos for that. That was awesome. So till we see you next time, guys, stay salty and stay warm.